speaking about anything can happen in hockey. That's why hockey is so great in the spring season. Let's go with the Eastern Conference. The Eastern Ooh. Conference, oh my goodness, it's wide open. It's open. Anyone can come out of the East. Um, yeah. like it, it, I've, I can't remember when was the last time I've ever been excited for a conference like this year, this season. So the first one that I want to start with, the dangerous red hot Florida Panthers versus Washington Capitals. What do you got? Mm. So just to piggyback a bit on, uh, on your comment about the Eastern Conference, we're looking at eight, eight, uh, eight teams who notched over 100 points. I think it's the first time in NHL history that we've ever seen that and where the whole if one conference enter the, the playoffs with over 100 points and it's finished their season. So, yes, it, it is wide open. Now, I never truly saw Washington getting in the playoffs um, solely because – they got in because the Islanders couldn't catch up to them at a certain point. So they're in. But I don't see them going deep at all. Um, the Panthers, on fire. On fire, they're also a Stanley Cup favorite to win it all. Um, but I see the Florida Panthers taking it to them in six games. I agree. I also have Florida in six games. I respect the Capitals that much. And mm -hmm. Alex Ovechkin, I mean, this this guy for his age, you know, score, I believe he scored 50 goals this season um, for his <laughs> age. It's like, my goodness, um, I love to see him and Sidney Crosby, you know, their rivalry. I love both of them. I love when oh, they yeah. go at it. Um, but uh, I just don't see Washington um, have that much – have that much edge um, and for them to go that far this season in the postseason. So, and the fact yeah, that they went up against Florida Panthers, uh, I, I respect them that they will take at least two games, but yeah. Florida, six games. And also the, that blue line, their defensemen got it on lock. So I, there's not going to be too much scoring on Florida. So you better bring your A game when you face the Florida Panthers. Right, right. Yeah. Now, my favorite matchup of Ooh. round one. And I can't wait for this series because, oh my goodness. Oh my, I just can't wait. I'm so excited. Toronto Maple Leafs versus Tampa Bay Lightning. The red hot Toronto Maple Leafs, they have in a, one of the best seasons in the franchise history against yeah. the two time reigning defending world champs, Tampa Bay Lightning. Now, who do you got for that one? That, okay, so. Me being a Bruins fan, um, it's I, <laughs> will the Leafs finally get over the hump? Will they finally? It's, it, it's been since 1967 that have last won a cup, or I can't remember the last time they won a series. Um, I would like to, to see the Leafs progress. Now, you have to think about the Leafs could score the same way that Tampa Bay could score. Um, Steven Stamkos, he's back and healthy, and he's killing it. You still got uh, Nikita Kucherov out there. Braden Point. Um, Vasilevsky as the goaltending. You still have that championship experience that you're going to have to go up against when it comes to the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Toronto Maple Leafs are still a young team in, in a sense with certain, with, you know, certain players. Um, but I got, I think I got Leafs in seven, to be honest. I think we're going to see a disappointment here. I Ladies and gentlemen, I, the reason yeah. I'm clapping is because I said to myself, if I have to um, make take a risk on a series, yeah. it will be this one because I also have the Maple Leafs in seven games. This mm -hmm. series got to go to distance. There's just, we can be disappointed. We have, this series needs to go to distance. Um, Toronto has an explosive offense. Austin Matthews, I mean, scoring 60 goals the first in 10 years. So, mm -hmm. and that team is just completely loaded. There's obviously, um, they're inexperienced compared to the Tampa Bay Lightning. And yes, Tampa Bay Lightning still have championship experience. Steven Stamkos, like you said, is healthy. Um, everything is there, you know. There's a reason why they went back to back. And it's great that they won last year because 
if it was just the bubble, everybody would think it's a fluke because mm-hmm. everybody, you know, you're not traveling, so everybody's on the bubble. So, exactly. But, but they proved to everyone that they are legit, that they are champions. But in this one, I just feel that it's imperative for, temp- for Toronto to win as Toronto Maple Leafs in seven mm. games. Seven okay. games. So Toronto, come on, man. Come on, man. We got, we got to see something different. So can they finally get over the hump? I feel that this is the best way for them to do it against the reign defending champions. Mm-hmm. Now, let's go with <laughs> Carolina Hurricanes versus Boston Bruins. Your Boston Ooh. Bruins. Yeah. So I know. Do you want to go, go first? No, 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 you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. I got to clear my thoughts first. <laughs> uh, as much as I don't like Boston teams. Yeah. But I'm a guy that I'm very unbiased. I feel that the Boston Bruins um, will take it to Carolina in six games. Okay. I feel that the Bruins, I mean, with any Boston team in general, but there's just something about this Boston Bruins team that you just can't overlook them, especially when it's playoff time. So I got the Bruins in six games over the Carolina Hurricanes. X? I agree with you. I could see it going seven because the Canes are not, they're not slumping. They're good. The Hurricanes are good. Um, one thing that does um, scare me or has me worry, will the Bruins power play be good again? Because the closing out the season, I think they went like one for 30 something on power plays. Uh, given they had lost Pasternak for some time due to injury, but with the acquisition of Hampus Lindholm, Pasternak's back healthy, um, you still got um, our, the goaltending with Jeremy Swayman killing it. Also, uh, Linus Yolmark. I can see them hanging in there for six to seven games, but I got Bruins. Bruins going over six, seven. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And now, last but not least, Pittsburgh Penguins versus New York Rangers. Oh, my God. Huh. I, my Rangers, I want them to win the series. But yeah. I think I got the Penguins in seven games. Really? Yep. I got the Penguins okay. in seven games. I feel that this is Sidney, Sidney Crosby's um, last dance, I could say. This is the Penguins' last dance. So I give them much respect. Like, yes, the Rangers have an exciting offense. Chris Kreider, I mean, what an amazing season yeah. um, he's, have, he's had. Um, the Rangers have been exciting this season, which I was surprised to a certain degree. But I just feel that I'm just – there's something in me that I'm not entirely too confident that they could knock off the Penguins. And, you know, Penguins still have Sidney Crosby. Experience plays in their factor. And I just feel that this is their last dance. This is their moment to try to mm-hmm. – take a crack at it one more time to to the Stanley Cup. I I think I'm gonna disagree with you. I, I'm I'm rooting Rangers in seven. Um Penguins, Penguins will be a headache. Uh, uh, don't get me wrong. But the reason why I say that is because I, I believe the Rangers um goaltending is, is far better than the Penguins. Um you it, the, I think if Jari comes back, I, I believe he was it's sidelines for a few. I don't know if it's a, a legit injury or whatnot. I gotta check up on that. But if goaltending is, it will play a factor here. And I believe Igor Shosturkin, I think he's going to hold the Rangers down. Um, I do want to see more scoring from the Rangers, though, because the Pittsburgh Penguins could still make it happen with, all, with everybody in the lineup. I mean, that's, there's two things that I'm, that, I'm, that I'm confident about the Rangers, the goaltending and mm-hmm. Chris Kreider. However, it's postseason is a different game. And, you know, the Penguins offense is the Penguins offense. So I still say that the series will be very tight, um, but I'll give the edge to the Penguins. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. God, <laughs> if you hear me, I hope I'm wrong. But, yeah, that, that's my, my prediction for that series. All right. So, yeah, I, I'm, I, and by, and by the way, I do want to see a Bruins-Rangers matchup in round two because why not? <laughs> 
Oh man, if if um I won't if it wasn't for my health and number one and number two financially, yeah. I would be crazy enough to buy a ticket or a possible second round Bruins versus Rangers matchup. Yeah. And I remember because one time I remember three years ago, this was before the pandemic. I think we were at Pick and Eat. Mm-hmm. We were at Pick and Eat, and I said, like, yo, like we should plan a Bruins Rangers game at MSG. I don't know if you remember if I told you that, right? Yeah, yeah, I recall that. Yeah, but you know, one day we we gotta make that happen. Um, whether it's here in New York or in Boston, because even though I'm an anti-Boston guy, but Boston <laughs> isn't but Boston isn't amazing, it isn't a beautiful city. I went there once, which was in 2018. Memorial yeah. Day weekend, and you know I liked my experience there, but I definitely would like to go back over there and and explore more. Make it happen, yeah, Not for yeah, sure. Definitely. I mean, you just gotta make it happen. It'll happen for sure, for sure. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, those are our predictions for round one. Um, stay tuned for more content from us, um, Mike and Xavier. Beginning of a quite an interesting and fun process. And stay tuned for more content. Stay tuned for more content from us.